I sometimes wonder if there are globalizing efforts now underway, whether admitted or not, intentional or not, by those of all sides, by those who claim to be for and at those who claim to be against globalization. Sometimes I wonder if there are currently various loosely constructed efforts being developed and implemented globally. Some of the most successful globalization efforts of today consist of loosely connected or semi-organized consortiums. Whether they claim to be for or against globalization, then there are the rest of us seven and a half plus billion people. Sometimes we are willing participants in globalization and global collaboration and sometimes not. Many people may appear to be in opposition to one another. However, even those who appear to be in opposition to one another are sometimes similar in some ways. In many ways and on many sides, these diverse worldwide movements, collaborations, or collectives set things in motion. Globalization can happen through the support of loosely connected nationalistic, socialistic, isolationistic, fascistic, capitalistic, communistic, or other movements or collaborations. These partnerships of efforts can range under the guises of ordinary partnerships, mutually supportive ones or protective, financial, economic, national, social, environmental, theological, radical, ideological, or philosophical partnerships. They can appear to be in favor of or against any issue. However, they can be facades for the xenophobic, isolationist, fascist, fanatical, etc. Yes, we have had similar partnerships around for millennia, such as movements of faith inspired by greed, not enlightenment, trading partnerships inspired by the interests of domination, not economic prosperity for all, or various others that have not been solely motivated by the improvement of society, spirituality, or other similar uplifting reasons. However, we must be careful in our emerging world since the diverse, fringe, extreme, dangerous, and fanatical people have found the ability to spread their ideas and grow in numbers more quickly than in the past. Often, those who have found the ability to spread and grow quickly are those who carry the name of a group but have splintered off co-opting the name only to form another group or been corrupted. We are no longer in a world where we are isolated in our actions. All have the potential to become internationally influential very quickly. Some multinational groups are maturing, while others are still in their infancy. All of these can have worldwide influence and be of various consortiums, partnerships, arrangements, agreements, or movements. All of these diverse groups have numerous different approaches, motivations, and interests. They sometimes present themselves as legitimate voices of their people, but many have been corrupted and often only represent themselves. Many of these diverse groups often have the same goal in mind, the goal of only their own self-interests or that of their groups, rather than the best interest of all. To help me continue, please consider a like, subscription to this channel, download of my free ebook or articles, or visit my website or social media channels. Thank you.